Hello, you're on Pablo Spot. I'm George. Welcome to this series where I build a reusable set of Terraform modules. And today, I will make all the necessary changes to my auto scaling Terraform module to create a reusable set of Terraform code for auto scaling resources. And so, if this series and the content of this channel lines up with your interests, hit the subscribe button and join me in this journey of learning by doing. So, let's start coding. Before doing the actual work, let me list down the things that I need to achieve today. I need to create a Git repository for the reusable module for auto-scaling group resources. I need to update the names and labels from being too specific to generic. I need to update the firewall settings inside my resources attached to my launch template and also make sure that my workspace prefix is generic enough. I also need to update the user data as a variable input to the module instead of an embedded reference. And then I need to publish a private module registry into my Terraform Cloud account. And then lastly, integrate my Terraform module to my ECS project. To create a new Git repository, I'm going to head to my terminal. And in here, I will run a set of Git commands to extract the ASG directory from the repository that I created for the series on ECS, which you can access right here. So firstly, I will run a Git clone command and drop the files into a new directory. This command created a new local repository, which is this one. I set the name this way to be able to publish this as a Terraform module at a later stage. And if I cd to this new directory, I can then start running the command to pull only the ASG directory from the source repository. And now I will launch my VS Code and load my new local repository to start making code changes. All my Terraform code are inside the ASG directory. So if I expand this, they're all here. I want the root of this repository to be the root of my Terraform module. So what I will do is move all the files inside the ASG directory into the root of the repository. And now I can delete the ASG directory. The first step is done. So on to the second step, which involves updating the names and labels in my Terraform code. What I will do is head to my variables.tf. I will introduce a new variable called system name, which I will use for all the names and labels that I need to update. And now I'm going to open my main.tf and start looking for labels and names that need to be replaced, especially the ones that have reference to WordPress. The next step is to update the firewall setup for my launch template. The firewall setup refers to the security group resource inside my main.tf. One of the ingress blocks inside this resource has a reference to a variable called nginx underscore port, which is very specific. And so what I will do is rename this to application port. And then I need to head to my variables.tf and rename this as well. I want this variable to be a required input to this module, so I'll get rid of the default value. If I head back to my main.tf, I have this ingress block for port 443, which is actually not needed in here. So I'll get rid of that as well. The next step is to update the workspace prefix defined inside my backend.tf. The workspace prefix set in here has the reference to WordPress, which is way too specific. So all I have to do is get rid of that reference. Another property that I need to update is the user data property. So let me head back to my main.tf and go to my launch template resource. And then in here is a property called user data. I will change the way my user data property is set. Instead of pulling this from a data reference, I will use a variable. And because I have a new variable in here, I need to head to my variables.tf and set the definition for this. I also need to go to my data.tf to clean up all the unused data references. So if I open my data.tf, because I no longer need to reference my template files, I can go ahead and delete the user data and nginx conf references. And then on my VS Code Explorer, I can also get rid of the template directory, the tfwars directory, and the Telegram configuration file. So on to the next step where I publish this repository as a private module inside my private Terraform registry. First thing I will do is validate my code and make sure that I did not break anything. So I'll head to my terminal and then run Terraform init and Terraform validate. The validation went through with no issues. But now, if I head to my VS Code Explorer, 
Notice that my command has created the Terraform cache directory. I don't need to include this in my repository, so I'll create a git ignore file in the root of my repository. And then in this file, I'll add the exclusion for this cache directory. And now I'm going to head to my browser, access my GitHub account, and then create a new remote repository with the same name I used for my local repository. And then I will copy this section right here and then head back to my VS Code. Because I inherited this from another repository, the quickest way to resolve all underlying issues around the origin is delete my git cache on my local repository. And then I will reinitialize this local git project. And now I can go ahead and set my remote origin and start running the rest of the commands to sync this up with my remote repository. And now that I have synced up my local repository, my remote repository, let me head back to my web browser and refresh this page. To be able to publish this repository as a private Terraform module, I need to create a release. On the type dropdown box, I will set this to version 0.0.1. I'm going to set the release title to initial version. And then all the way to the end of the page, I'm gonna go ahead and click publish release. And now that I have a release ready to be published, I'll head over to my Terraform Cloud account. And then select the right organization, which in this case is Pablo Spot. And then click the registry tab at the top of this page, which is right here. And then all the way to the right of this page, I'm going to select publish and select module. I already have set up an integration with my GitHub account. So all I have to do is select that account and then select the repository that I want to publish, which is this one, and then publish module. And now that I have a private Terraform module registered on my private registry, I can now update my existing project to integrate with this module. So let me head to my terminal. And then I need to switch to my GitHub repository for my ECS project. And then I'm going to launch my VS Code from here. I need to make sure that I have the latest code on my local machine. So I'll head to my terminal and then run git pull. And then I'm going to create a branch for today's changes. In order to integrate the new Terraform module with this repository, I need to make the necessary adjustments to my Telegram configuration file for my ASG. So let me head to my VS Code Explorer and expand the ASG directory and then open my Telegram configuration file. In my ASG Terraform module, I created a new variable called system name. And so I need to update the inputs block of my Telegram configuration file to pass this variable. I also introduced a variable called application port, which is a replacement of the engine export. And so I need to pass this as input as well. And lastly, I need to set the user data property. My old user data is set from a data reference inside my data.tf. So let me go ahead and open that file. The user data reference is actually using a template file and it uses variables to actually set up the contents of the file. So let me go back to my Telegram configuration file and set this up. What I can do in here is use the template file function in Terraform to create the user data property. The first parameter of this function points to the actual template file. So if I go ahead and open my explorer, my user data template file is inside this template directory and it's served inside user data.tpl. So back to my Telegram configuration file. What I can then do is update the first parameter to point to that user data template file. And then I can plug in the actual source for my cluster name. For my Nginx configuration property, if I head back to my data.tpl, the content of that variable is actually set by this data reference. And it's similar to how user data is set. It's referencing a template file and it's using an nginx underscore port variable. So let me go back to my Telegram configuration file and set this up. The template file that's being used by dot new block is my server.conf.tpl. And then I can set the nginx port property and then on my VS Code Explorer, what I can do next is get rid of all the TF files inside the ASG directory. And I can also get rid of TF vars because I'm not using it. And now back to my Telegram configuration file. If I scroll all the way to the top of this file, 
I have a block right here for Terraform. Now I need to change the source property to point to my private Terraform module on my Terraform Cloud Registry. And now I can go ahead and spin up my infrastructure stack. So I'm going to head to my VS Code terminal and start setting up my AWS credentials as well as my default Terraform workspace. And for my Terragram to be able to read from my private Terraform module, I need to export a Terragram specific environment variable which will contain my Terraform API token. And because I've made changes to how the Terraform workspace is created for ASG with my Terraform module, I need to create this new workspace. And because I've only made changes to the ASG module inside my project, I'm going to attempt a Terragram plan inside the ASG directory. My Terragram plan looks good, so now I'm going to apply my entire infrastructure stack. And so I'm going to cd to the root of my repository. And the Terragram apply is done. All that's left for me to do now is verify that my WordPress application is still accessible after my changes to ASG. So I'm going to switch to my browser and access my website. And the page still works. And that's it for now. Stay tuned as I make the changes to the other modules and make all of these reusable and also make my Terragram setup more lean. In the meantime, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below and send me some likes if you find this useful. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like the content of this channel. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe.